Welcome back to the uh, six liter Ford. Uh, today we're gonna to be looking at the part of the fuel delivery system. This happens to be the horizontal fuel conditioning module for a six liter Ford Power Stroke. Uh, these are on all the F series pickups uh, mounted on the inboard frame rail uh, right underneath the driver's seat. It is, a, it is considered a module for the reason that it contains a number of different components. We have a lift pump and fuel heater. We have a fuel water separator sensor. We have a water trap with a water drain, full housing assembly with primary fuel filter. When you're changing fuel filters on these things, one of the top things to look for, other than a dirty filter itself, is to look inside the housing and as this mounts on the frame rail like this, if you look in towards the bottom, find out what kind of residue is left there. In this particular case, you'll find that there is a lot of rust and buildup inside of this housing assembly. So if that's the case, we know there's residue inside this fuel filter housing, the next thing we should do is inspect the other side. So let's take the cover off of this. So okay, last screw out. So now let's take a look at the inside of the water trap here. And as we look at this and we get a close up on it, we'll find that there is a tremendous amount of rust buildup inside here, particulate that is collected inside this trap. That's not a good thing. It, once it leaves here, it's headed directly to the engine. Now obviously we have a secondary fuel filter up there, but all of this residue has made it past the primary fuel filter. There's going to be a certain percentage of this that makes it past the secondary fuel filter. The next stop is the injectors, where it's going to cause issues. Uh, this is not an uncommon occurrence. You can see here in the bottom, again, there is a lot of buildup internally. Uh, this is not a good piece to put back on the vehicle. Uh, these come equipped with a drain plug in them. Ford recommends that they be drained on a periodic basis to get the water out of the system, which is the re which results in a lot of this type of rust buildup internally. So if you're not draining them on a periodic basis, you're definitely going to have issues with buildup inside them. In this case, this one is no longer a viable component. We would want to discard this and replace it with a complete new assembly uh, readily available, comes with everything you need including the new fuel filter internally on it. Uh, this will help you avoid heavy problems on uh, the injectors and the rest of the engine due to the contamination in the system. Thank you.